I don't think you need to do many YouTube devlogs. I think that's the wrong assumption. So, like, why do I say this? So, if we talk about purely advertising your game, right? Take a look at Ponty Pants on YouTube. Very successful game he made. He made one devlog and one announcement trailer. But we can take a look at Ponty Pants as well. Videos. Punch a bunch. Two videos about a difficult game about climbing. Two. One minute and 15 minutes. They are very well edited, of course. 3,000 reviews on Steam. You don't need to spam devlogs at all. You can spam, you can make one entire devlog for your game, if your game's good. Anyway, so this is why I think you don't really need to have a constant flood of devlogs. Maybe one announcement and uh, then just the entire game. And you know, the best example of this is Danny. He just made complete devlogs uh, at some point. He made complete games and devlogs about them. And yeah, you can do a short. Yeah, you could do shorts to showcase your game and Twitter posts to show interesting mechanics of your game. This is something I learned here, by the way, from this game. This is Core Keeper, very, very, very successful game on Steam. This is what they did in the very beginning. They showed one clip of the game. They deliberately crafted this gift, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're kind of thinking about showcasing all the different aspects of the visuals that we wanted to build upon in, in Core Keeper. You kind of see the very delighting. So you don't really need to spend that much time showcase what your game is about. And uh, if people pick it up, if it goes, let's say, viral, then you know you have something. 